of drama. Uh, seems like uh, quick production. Quick production. Maybe a little daunting because of the full Shakespeare text in that time. A little bit. I was terrified. I'll be honest. I was really terrified. Um, but I think because it was so quick and because it was Shakespeare for me, and I know I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I think everybody did the same thing. Uh, our homework, we just worked so much at home. I, I mean, I worked with a, a coach um, um, who's very versed in Shakespeare, and we worked hours and hours, and then I think the rehearsal time with Joss, you know, was shot in his house. So we showed up to his house, which a lot of us were very familiar with, um, and would, you know, be in the space and play in the space and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. And he would say, are you comfortable? If you're not comfortable, we can keep rehearsing. I have all day. I want you to feel comfortable so that when we show up on the day, you know exactly what's going on, which doesn't always happen. No. On sets, sometimes you have to show up and pretend like, oh, I'm in my the house that I grew up in for 30 years, and I'm, I know every nook and cranny, and you don't. Um, Right. So it, it was like um, I, I would I kept kept comparing it to theater in a way like you rehearse and then you go away and then you come back and you do it and um, so the the days where the cameras were up it was sort of like he was just capturing live performances basically. And I'm dying to know what how do you characterize working with Joss uh, uh, even though he's right in earshot? I know. Uh, don't be shy. Don't be shy. You know, I usually just like bump into sarcasm when I'm feeling moved. Um, but uh, I mean, look, he's a genius. Everybody knows that. It's almost a cliche at this point. Um, but he's uh, one of the most accessible bosses. Um, he's uh, so specific with what he wants. So he's a very efficient, efficient um, director. Uh, but at the same time, his vision is so specific. But at the same time, he sort of lets you feel creatively free to do whatever you want right. and all of that combined with just I feel so safe in this hands. I've never felt so safe with anybody else. Amazing. You know, it's really it's a uh, it's remarkable. It's like I don't know how he does it. Yeah. Well otherwise I'm just starting to know what you're doing next. Uh, um, well, this, I'm focusing on this right now. Uh, I, I just did a play that I'm uh, in the process of workshopping and removing, and uh, I'm trying to uh, also get a, a movie uh, made, a story that I've Oh, really? Made. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, if oh, you don't Best mind Friends me... Forever. Oh, I have another movie, Best Friends Forever. If you don't mind me asking, what's the, the movie you're working on? Oh, it's sort of uh, in the very early stages, sort of in uh, development stages. It's a story that I've been um, mulling over for years, and it's almost like I hate saying, like, hey, I got a movie idea, but it's like um, something I've, I've been working on with um, a development uh, producer and right. trying to get some footing going, which is kind of scary and inspiring all the same. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank Pleasure you. to meet you. Pleasure.